Happy Friday, y'all. So, uh, this video is uh, gonna be sort of a uh, follow up video to a video I did probably a, a very, very long time ago. And, uh, that was, I, I think I called it something like a new Dragon Ball Z movie will take time. But for, but for this video tonight, people, um, I just really have come to a sort of sad, but I guess kind of a reasonable and realistic conclusion slash real, 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 realization that we are probably done with the uh, Dragon Ball Z movies. And the reason for that is not because Super is not successful. It's not because I wouldn't want to see them. Hell, it's probably not even going to be because Akira would be too tired from uh, ma making Super so good to uh, e even approach another possible theatrical movie. But more importantly, guys, I think it's primarily just because... Um, the, the Dragon Ball universe has um, just expanded way far beyond probably the realm of what any theatrical canon movie at least could could uh, could offer. I mean, uh, unless hopefully sometime and hopefully in the very near future, Akira Akira would would want to make just still a canon um movie to release in theaters hopefully yes um but this movie i think would have to either be a a, a canon story that's either going to take shape after dragon ball super is over or be be, be a canon story that's only going to be referenced in uh, Dragon Ball Super the show at a later point. What I'm saying is, if there was to be another Dragon Ball Z slash Super movie, I think it would have to be a movie in which the 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 problem that Goku that Goku and the gang would have to deal with in the movie. I don't think it should carry over to the show. Like, I I guess to put it more frankly, I would want this conflict to stay just in the uh, mo movie movie science aspect of things, and and maybe be referenced in the show at a later point. Like if. If this type of movie were ever to be made while Super is still going on, um, I I wouldn't want like maybe after the movie gets released and dubbed over in the states, I I wouldn't want Goku and the guys to may to maybe say in the uh, Japanese dub when when that when when the next Arger series of episodes airs in, airs in Japan while, while the movie's being shown and say, oh guys, we still have to deal with what, whatever the problem of the movie is. Like, this, this conflict that Goku would be faced with, I think it should be something that A, is solved by the end of the movie's um, time, and one that is not retold in the form of a saga in Dragon Ball Super, but one that is referenced. But, un but unless Akira felt like doing something like that, I, I would unfortunately have to say that the masterpiece that was Dragon Ball Z um, Resurrection F was 
probably, unfortunately, the, the last Dragon Ball Z type movie that we could have. But, I, I personally think we are done with Dragon Ball Z movies now. I hope that maybe sometime after Super Ends or, may, or maybe if Akira, like I said, wants to, um, ma make a movie that would still tie in with Super Story, but only be referenced in the show at a later point, and, and not as an actual arc in the show, I, I think it, I think that would be kind of cool, but that's all I have for this one, um, hope you enjoy.